font. If you look at Wikipedia, it defies font as, in both traditional typesets and modern usage, the word font refers to delivery mechanism of typeface design in traditional typeset, the font which would be made from metal or wood, blah, 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 blah. That even put me to sleep. If you watch any film, TV show, or look at print, font has a major factor in it. Font or typography, however you want to say it, has a major factor in it. It always evolves and changes with time, developing a boldness within its power, which can invoke feelings within people. Similar to the I Hate Helvetica group, to the comic sense, looks cute font. And you know, when you think about it, font has a lot of history based in it. I mean, think of font in film, Star Wars. I mean, I know when I watch a Star Wars film, I love to read the intro, even though it's going sometimes at light speed. And you hear, you see the text. You can even hear it now while I'm saying it, because I am hearing it. Star Wars, and then you hear the music load. Font has so many evoking feelings from it that it's really crucial to understand it while understanding film for tv for your own shorts for vfx for film whatever it is now what i'm going to demonstrate is one of my favorite font effects along with some presets that are built into after effects that give you some sort of play with font open after effects and type your text in whatever color whatever size you want The first thing I'm going to show you are the presets that are built into After Effects. They are one scatter, which essentially does this. You can play with this and bring it back into the font or have the font scatter into space. With this effect, you can even twist it right and left as if the pieces are in space. Two, split. Split lets you, as it says, split the object right in the middle. You can use point A and point B to animate where you'd want the effect to start and where you'd want the effect to split it. Three, collider, which kind of is self-explanatory, but it's basically a kaleidoscope effect. Really fun to play with, really simple to use and really effective. Four, grid wipe. Essentially similar to kaleidoscope, but has a set wipe effect. Again, really fun to play with. But my favorite effect with font is this sci-fi, psychedelic font effect that you saw in the thumbnail. So to do that, create a new comp. I'm going with HD, so 1920 by 820p at 24 frames per second. Why 24? Because that's as close to the natural eye speed as possible. Within your composition, Type in whatever text you want, just make sure it's white and choose whatever font, whatever size. I'm going to use the word subscribe. Then once you're happy with it, place it just above the center and pre-comp this text. It'll make sense later. Once you've pre-comped it, in the effects and presets panel, drag and drop shift channel. This will allow you to set a specific prime color channel. For the first one, so turn everything off and turn blue on. Then right click, right click and create a new adjustment layer. In this adjustment layer, drag and drop scale wipe and wave warp. Make sure your playhead is the beginning of the timeline. And I'm going to center this just under the word subscribe. Change the direction for the scale wipe to 180. And within the waveform, change the height to minus 72 the width to around about 230 and the direction to around about 40 degrees. One thing I forgot here, and you'll see me go back to later, is I forgot to change the pinning to center. Change the stretch to around nine or 10. Then in screen wipe, click on the stopwatch for center to create a keyframe. Go to the end of the timeline, move this center point just above the word subscribe to get this sort of effect. Brilliant. Once we have that, press U on the keyboard on the adjustment layer, highlight all the keyframes, right click and easy ease them. Duplicate both the text and adjustment layer and place them above 
the originals. Within the second text, change the color from blue to green. And in the adjustment layer, delete the scale wipe. And in scale warp, change the degrees to minus 90. In the effects and presets panel, drag and drop fast block box blur into this and change the blur direct dimensions to vertical and the radius to round about 20. Once we're happy with that, duplicate the text two more times and turn off the top layer. For the second text, change the channel to red and add in a glow. Change the glow threshold to 25, the glow radius to 15 and the intensity right down to 0.2. Turn on the top text layer, add glow, change the color to green and change the glow to glow threshold to 48, radius to 163 and glow intensity to 0.4. Before we move on, turn all text layers to screen. Duplicate the bottom adjustment layer and bring it right to the top. Within this adjustment layer, under Wave Wrap, change the wave width to around 390, change the direction around 170, and the wave speed right down to 0.2. The difference with this adjustment layer is we're going to switch the scale wipe under the wave wrap and make no change but you can see the effect that happens and you're done